because this year started with a lot of chaos. I had pink eye and uh, uh, influenza type A to begin with, and by the time I recovered, my crown started with a bad diabetic ulcer and was in a bit of danger for a while there, and <laughs> the chaos seems, fingers crossed, to have settled down a bit finally. So I'm doing quarterly empties. There's been no January empties from me or February empties video and no December empties video either. The thing is I filled December empties in December and then I got the pink eye and I couldn't publish that. That is still there. You haven't seen the, the trash I emptied in December. There was a nice full size CeraVe tub and everything, uh, which, uh, you know, I did want to show you. It's all filmed, but you know, I can't publish that. Anyway, quarterly empties. There's a lot of products. There's a lot of doubles, you know, lots and lots of body butters, lots and lots of perfumes and lots and lots of cleansers within each category. Lots and lots of serums because this is basically three and a half months worth of products. Yeah, so let's start with perfume. So this was a Christmas present. 4711 Aqua Colonia, all gone. Nothing inside, nice bottle there, see? Nothing in there. So this was very fresh and wintry, you know, I can get berries there somewhere and you know, kind of snowy, wintry, arctic -y. Uh, kind of fragrance, which I quite liked on um, uh, Christmas present this was and the, the, sh the fragrance that I have here is the Aqua Colonia Intense Pure Breeze of Himalaya uh, It is only an EDC and that means it will not last much a deep alone people So will I repurchase this? Not right now because there are three others that I got. It was a set of three that I got for Christmas. Let me finish those and then I'll see. I might actually repurchase this. It was quite better. Staying poor, not very good, but you know, that's all right. Um, I wanted to feel better. This helped me feel better. I also used up the Yardley English Bluebell, which was again uh, a Christmas present, but this was way too strong. I think it was, I would even call it pungent, <laughs> to the point of being pungent, people. Um, this later became a bathroom spray. Ideal for bathrooms, you know, if you're, if the fragrance is too strong, use it up in the loo. Uh, in a way, it will help with everything else without going into too much information. Use your imagination. So I won't be repurchasing this either. So, so far we have two perfumes. So let's do the makeup. This year I hope to empty uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Almost entirely, at least, you know, half of it. I hope to found that palette this year. Uh, but I haven't done so yet. So primers, two primers. This one, not a huge fan, this one I liked. Um, this is the Rimmel Matte Primer, Mattifying Primer, basic, silicone not a fan. This one, Holy Grail favorite primer of the moment because Smashbox kindly discontinued uh, their lovely photo finish smooth and blur primer. So I've got this instead. It was recommended by a friend. It is the Milani Chill Out Soothing Primer, which is silicone free people and contains wild oat extract and ceramides. I am wearing it right now. I think it uh, gives me a beautiful canvas, not greasy or anything, but not over mattifying, not drying, just right. Absolutely love it. Uh, right now, this is my primer of choice. There is a video coming shortly on my hunt for the primer and how I arrived at this and what my thoughts are in of, of the process and what what are the primers I discovered um, as I was uh, hunting around for a primer and what I thought about each one. It's filmed, it's long overdue, I will try to get around to editing it ASAP. Now the next thing that I have here is the Talika Eyebrow Liposeals Ink, which is an eyebrow conditioning gel, people. It is slightly, very, very lightly tinted. I wouldn't call it, you know, as good as Goof Proof or Gimme Brow by Benefit or any of those products, but a very basic tint, practically invisible. Uh, um, did I feel any conditioning or growth or anything? No, I did. But you know, I don't mind my eyebrows. I don't think they're spas or anything. I lashes, yes, I don't have any. I've only got peach fuzz. But eyebrows, I'm all right with. They don't need to grow for me. Mascara Laura Monsieur um, came in a gift with purchase. Very, very, very much all dried up and gone. Did not like it, did not enjoy it. I felt it was clumpy. Will not be repurchasing this one. One lip balm will repurchase always. Vaseline, lip therapy, cocoa butter, all gone. 
smells nice, applies well, hydrates well, softens well, protects well. What's not to like? It's Vaseline. You can't go wrong with Vaseline. So that's six makeup-ish products, people. Primer and lip balm included. Six products. And then we've got two perfumes, so eight products so far. So the next thing, cleansers, people. There are three. All right, this is a translated one. Pixie Glow Mud Cleanser, clay-based, um, absorbs oil and grime nicely, gives you a, you know, very uh, oil-free, non-greasy canvas at the end without overly drying. This one is more exfoliating. It is the Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Rapid Radiance Cleanse, and it contains vitamin C, lactic acid, and salicylic acid. It was too harsh on my face, and I believe is responsible for a bit of dryness around this area. Now, this one, Fast Cleanser, Pie Camellia and Rose Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. Very, very, very gentle indeed. So I think I would call these hydrating, not drying, but neither drying nor hydrating, and drying in that order. So I wouldn't be repurchasing any of these because they, they aren't, you know, the cleansers that set my soul on fire, as it were. <laughs> None of them, you know, absolutely baked my cake or floated my boat or anything. But yeah, I particularly enjoyed using the pie as a first cleanser, and this one as a second cleanser. The Sarah Chapman under too much was drying, was a bit too harsh. I sincerely hope that nobody takes this personally, because, you know, apparently Sarah Chapman is Meghan Markle's face to something. So those are the cleansers. Let me just show you the toners that I used up. There is one acid toner and one non-acid one. SK2 is a non-acid one, absolute favourite product. I have a whopping 230ml bottle currently in use and this is just 75 mils when i don't use sk2 i see a difference so i keep on using it <laughs> it is basically galactomyces people and i don't know what it is about this particular formulation that makes it very different from other galactomyces preparations out there it's very very different and the results are there to see visible results the other one is the BioWish Trend Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water, which is a very mild acid toner. I did not use it the same time that I used the Sarah Chapman people. And no, I haven't just finished this in three months. I've had it for a while and it just got over in February. Um, I was worried about acne in February, you know, particularly with all the stress over ground that was happening. So there were a few, you know, mild bumps and this sort of took care of everything. So... Will I repurchase? No, I've got enough acid toners in my kitty to last you a while. So I won't be repurchasing any of these either, except SK2, which I will repurchase always and forever. So there's three cleansers and two toners, five. Add that to the eight products from before. We've got 13 products in there. Now let's do essence and serums. Quite a few here. Essence, just the one though, the Maison um, Snail Repair Intensive Essence, which it was a more recent formulation, which I believe tried to replace the all-in-one snail cream. I bought it as soon as it came out back in the day and forgot all about it, finally used it up, and um, I no longer purchase snail products, they no longer work for my skin, nor do I support snail products any longer. So I won't be repurchasing this. Did I like it? No, I think that if you do use snail products, I feel that the Maison all-in-one snail cream is a much better option, uh, not this. If it ain't broken, I don't know why brands try to fix it. Now let's do all these serums. Yeah, let's get the acid out of the way. Drunk Elephant Frambrose Gly Glycolic Night Serum. That is all gone, as you can see. And yes, yeah, so is the Maison. Hang on. So this product, um, it was a spot treatment that I've been using for a while now, whenever I feel a bump. And that works well as a spot treatment. All over the face, I no longer use it because my skin is now more dry than oily. So I won't be repurchasing this because I don't need, I mean, there are enough uh, acids in my stash to function as spot treatments. Now, the other is serums that I used, my beloved Purito Centella Unscented Serum, which is my daily first serum. Second serum daily is the Numbusin Number no. 4 Collagen 73% Pudding. This was in my favorites for 2023. It was a 2023 discovery. Absolutely monstrous skin plumping results. You want your skin to look beautifully plump and hydrated. Just use this and see the difference immediately. So hopefully they won't reformulate either of these things and uh, they'll continue to produce them. Uh, hopefully they won't discontinue either of these things as well, in which case I will buy them forever, unless you know I discover something far more um, 
wonderful. One more very basic hydrating serum for the mornings, Laneige Fresh Calming Serum. Oh, I didn't see much by way of calming. It was very gently hydrating. You could just put it on uh, below your sunscreen and then put on your makeup. That was all that it did. When we repurchasing for that reason. The other two I will repurchase. This one, I don't know whether I want to repurchase these days or not. I might actually. Isentry TW Real Bifida Ampoule. Uh, possibly my favorite ampoule of all time. This is more lipidic but not viscous. It's more lipidic than the others, but it's not any more viscous. You can easily layer it above a couple of serums or an essence or a, and a serum. What does it do? I feel it prevents acne, which is very, very, the most important thing for me, because despite having dry skin, I still get acne. Weird, eh? And it also contains a couple of peptides. So I may repurchase this. I've got another two bottles. Let's see after that, yeah? So that is uh, one essence and five serums. That is six products. That means 19 so far. Let's do face masks next. Um, Alpha H liquid gold mask, smoothing and perfecting mask with lavender. The lavender was a bit strong. Uh, the smell that is. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I think Alpha H liquid gold is the best product. Um, this mask I didn't like as much. This one though I did like. The Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. You know, a bit strong if you ask me with all those lactic acid and other exfoliating ingredients but i used it particularly around those areas where i had bumps and it was very effective in removing those bumps almost your mind just two years this bumps gone very nice so i've got a few samples of this from various beauty boxes and advertisers you know i think it might be a good idea to keep a mask with some exfoliating properties in your stash all the time right now let's Talk about the one eye cream that I did use. Dr. Dennis Cross C Plus Collagen Brightening Eye Cream uh, had a bit of, I wouldn't say glitter, a bit of shimmer to it. Um, now it is no longer my favorite eye cream because, you know, after the vaccination, my skin's become really dry, particularly the under eye areas, and I need a lot of hydration. This isn't enough for me. So I use straight up Vaseline in the under eye area. No milia, nothing. So this is not enough for me. One more eye cream. Gemonche Hydra Sparkling Under Eye Gel, Eye Reviver Gel. Uh, a bit more hydrating than DDG, but not, you know, sparkling or, uh, you know, brightening or anything. Um, yeah, not hydrating enough either. Uh, I applied this beneath the Vaseline, and uh, without the Vaseline, I think I'd have been real for me. Now, let me just show you the moisturizers that have used this quarter. Because of all the acne, Alpha H Clear Skin Daily Hydrator Gel was my choice for those acneic times. It contained eucalyptus, smelled a bit strong, but, you know, was gentle and uh, acted as a decent hydrator when there was acne. Estee Lauder Resilience Lift. This one I actually used more on my, yeah, it's all gone actually, more on my neck. It has SPF 15 and functioned as a day cream for me. Won't be repurchasing. These are all samples that I got from somewhere. Uh, the Claire's Vitamin E Niacinamide and Adenosine boosting radiance and glow. I know it says mask, but you know, for me, this is good enough for a sleeping cream. The, what I didn't like, the fragrance is a bit strong. These days I don't like, I think CeraVe spoiled me, people. I don't like, enjoy fragrance skincare as much as I used to. Um, maybe cleanser, even so, you know, I prefer fragrance free, you know, CeraVe cleanser, for instance. Um, fragrance products, I don't love them as much as I used to, unless they're body butters. For the face, particularly, no fragrance, so don't be repurchasing that. Heal Gel Intensive, all gone. Um, it is, you know, the cold and dry season, as it were. And um, yeah, this area is dry now, so I finished up the Heal Gel that I bought a long time ago from Cult Beauty, back when they had really nice goodie bags. Heal Gel was one of those uh, niche brands that they had. So that is uh, two eye creams, two masks, and four moisturizers. That's eight products. And that gives me 27 products used so far. Three body butters used in this quarter. So de Janeiro, beaky, beaky, boom, boom, came uh, um, as a Christmas present last year. Not, not 2023 Christmas, Christmas 2022. So I kind of saved it and saved it and saved it and used it up. From November last year, 2023 November onwards, and I finally finished it in January. Divine. I love the Biggie Biggie Boo Boo. I wish I'd bought the Biggie Biggie Beige of Floor. I didn't even realize they'd had one. But, I, you know, I couldn't budget for it, and then it sold out. 
And now I've seen the Delicia Drench Cream and that is on my wish list. But before that, I finished the Real Radiance Cream. This is lovely, people. It's, it's not caramelly or sweet like the Boom Boom Cream smell. It's more 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 fresh and tropical more more tropical and kind of fruity here i think you know if they did a biggie biggie in this i'd be really really interested and that would be you know something that i absolutely want but the next so genera product that i will buy once my budget is in you know but you know i hope they release uh, the rear radiance biggie biggie version for christmas this year now the last uh, body butter that i finished the sporter is the bath and body works japanese cherry blossom you know very springy cherry blossom Floral, really nice. Fragrance stays on a while. Very hydrating, not overkill fragrance, you know, mild enough. I like Bath and Body Works. You know, it's very affordable and um, hydrating enough for me. Maybe, you know, for dry weather, I would prefer something stronger, such as, you know, the Biggie Biggie Boom Boom Cream. But uh, otherwise, you know, regularly, I prefer the Bath and Body Works. So, will I repurchase these? Definitely, absolutely, of course. You know, but once I run through my stash a little bit, next thing I'm going to buy is the Delicia Trench Cream. Though. If they do a Biggie Biggie Boo Boo, yes, this one. If they do a Biggie Biggie Beja Flow, yes, that one as well. If they do a Biggie Biggie Boom Boom, let me see. I'll think about it. But you know, I don't see myself never repurchasing a, a Boom Boom Cream ever for the rest of my life. I probably will. Bath and Body Works, always going to buy it. But you know, there's a a huge number of products from them to use up first so there's a three bath and body products so 30 products used up in the first quarter of 2023 i don't actually have a target anymore let me just see how much i use up through the course of this year so those are all the empties that i used up in this quarter what have you used up this quarter do let me know you can either tell me in the comments below or tag me on social media uh wherever cosmetopia digest is active so that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell. And please do see.